Let us now look at this limits question from the calculus chapter. This question appeared in JE in 2019. And the standard way to solve this question, I have copied this from a textbook, is really long. You multiply and divide by the conjugate, you simplify, apply L'Hopital rule, differentiating the numerator and denominator, easily takes us 3 minutes. I am now going to tell you a nice way where you just use 3 facts in limits and you can solve this question in 15 seconds. Let us look at these facts. So what is fact number 1? Sin x is approximately x. If x tends to 0, that is x is very small, sin x, you can replace sin x by x. We know this as a limit formula. Sin x by x tends to 1. But the limit formula is an approximation formula as well. So sin x is approximately x. Fact number 2. x is small but x square is very, 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 very small compared to x. x cube is even smaller. If I say x is 10 to the power of minus 5, x square is 10 to the power of minus 10, x cube is 10 to the power of minus 15. So if this fellow is small, x square is really small. So when you have x and x square together, you can ignore x square. You can just completely ignore that and say this is approximately x. So compared to x, x square can be ignored. That is fact number 2. What is fact number 3? A very powerful fact. 1 plus x to the power of n is 1 plus n times x. So 1 plus x whole cube is 1 plus 3x. 1 plus x whole power 5 is 1 plus 5x. And root of 1 plus x, root of 1 plus x is 1 plus x power half, right? So you can write it as 1 plus half times x. Anytime you have a power n, you can bring that down and write it as 1 plus nx. Only valid if x is very small. So 1 plus x power half is 1 plus half times x, 1 plus x by 2. Similarly, root of 1 minus x, you can write that as 1 minus x power half. So 1 minus half times x. So 1 minus x by 2. So we are going to use these three facts extensively in solving the JE question. Let us see how to solve this question in 15 seconds. Okay, So the numerator is x plus 2 sin x, which you can write as x plus 2x, right? Sin x is approximately x. So this is equal to 3x. So the numerator is equal to 3x. But let's look at the denominator. This is 2x, 2 times sin x is 2x. But x square is very trivial compared to x. So I can throw that out. So what do I have here? 1 plus 2x with a root, right? So I'll write it as 1 plus 2x. Instead of writing root, I will write power half minus. Now let us focus on this side. What do I have there? I have sine square x, which is the same as saying sine x whole square. Sine x is approximately x. So sine square x must be equal to x square. But if you look at this, x square is very trivial compared to x. We have already seen that. So I can ignore this. So I have 1 minus x under the square root, 1 minus x power half. Now you know the formula 1 plus x power n is 1 plus nx. So what is this? 1 plus half of 2x, half into 2x, 1 plus nx, minus 1 minus half into x. Now if you see this, the 1 cancels out and this is x plus x by 2. So that gives us 3x by 2. So the denominator is 3x by 2. Numerator is 3x. So what is the limit? Limit is 3x by 3x by 2, which is equal to 2. So you can see how quickly, in fact, you can do this mentally. Within 15 seconds, you can solve this question using the ideas that we have learned, the three facts on limits approximations, right? So once you understand how to use approximations in limits, you will be able to solve these kinds of questions in 15 seconds.